Hey, it's Chris. Uh, today is Tuesday, uh, March 24th, and it's day 26 in my video journal. And uh, today was a, an okay day. Um, I'm uh, still struggling to uh, control pain, um, but hopefully I'll get that under control soon. One of the things I wanted to talk about today just quickly was how much effort it takes to plan knowing when you don't have a lot of time left and you know I want to tell people out there that I'm hoping to be able to live as long as I can uh, but I do know that I have a form of cancer where there's no treatment, no cure, and if anybody wants to go out and Google uh, the form of cancer I have, sarcomatoid mesothelioma, you'll see about how many months a typical patient has. So I know I have a limited amount of time, but I'm hoping to live longer. But Realistically, I, I know it's limited. So, what's really interesting about being in this dilemma is that it takes a lot to, it takes a lot of planning if you know you don't have a lot of time left. And right now I have two to-do lists and they're on my iPad. Uh, one of them is listed must do. And there are things that I really need to get done. There are some legal things for our family I've got to get done. Um, there are some... Um, things related to my will that I needed to get done. Um, one of the things that's even kind of unique, which many of you might know that we're planning a wedding right now, is that I'm also planning a funeral at the same time. And literally in one day, I'm making both wedding and funeral decisions in the exact same day. And there's a lot of the funeral planning stuff that I have on my must-do list. And you would be surprised how long that must-do list is. I have things on there about things I want to make sure get transitioned at work that my coworkers have. Um, there are websites I built for people that I want to make sure get transferred. Um, There's just a lot of things knowing that with the limited time I have left that I could get I could get done or mark off this list that will make it easier on my family. So I'm working through every day this list. Then I have a second list. That is my uh, bucket list. And it's things that I would like to do while I have time left. I don't know if I'll get to them or not. Um, some of them are some cities I'd like to try to visit while I still have time. Um, some of them are simple things. Like uh, many of you might know that um, I do... A lot of photography work. Um, one of them is kind of simple. Is I'd like to have an art gallery showing uh, of my my photography work. Um, uh, many of you might have remembered that I used to uh, DJ events. Um, I have my last DJ event was 
Labor Day weekend, uh, right before I started having the health problems that that uh, began with this cancer. And um, I'm hoping that maybe I'll get to DJ one more time. So I have my list uh, of things that I want to get done as well. But right now, every day, I'm, I'm working off these two lists. And, you know, um, things should be stress-free, but I've been trying to work part-time, but every day I look at these lists and I'll get one or two things marked off and I'll look at the list and I'll go, gosh, that still seems like a long list. Uh, but, um, there are important things on the list that have to get done. So, I guess what I'm saying, it's a bizarre thing in that I know that my time is limited. But like many of us who have to-do lists, whether it's our work to-do list or our grocery shopping list or a list of things we need to make sure we get done for our kids, I have limited time and I'm still working on a list. But uh, they're important things. I'm going to get them done. I'm going to get both these lists done. But I uh, just thought I would share um, that I'm every day working off a uh, uh, to list, a must do list before the end, and a bucket list. So, anyway, that's it for today's entry. Um, I will see you tomorrow. Bye.